Hey guys, well, I am really excited. I got some sort of big news. Uh, we're going to take the channel in, um, I guess, a more defined direction now. If you've seen some of my videos recently, you know I'm uh, working on a, a solar install. I've been doing some things on for the boat, for batteries, and for our camper. Now I'm going to start working on the shop, uh, getting a system for the shop, and we're going to be working on some um, off-grid energy storage, solar, and uh, electric vehicles. So uh, I would kindly ask us, subscribe to the channel. I'd certainly appreciate it. We can keep up to date on, on what I've got going on here, uh, touch base with each other, bounce ideas off of each other. It's really a great community out there. So uh, I would certainly appreciate if you would consider subscribing and um, you know we can go on this journey together. So uh, on one of the online forums here, I posted uh, a while back about some different battery options. And um, I know a lot of folks are are building their own systems and adding their own BMSs and um, and and that's great. I really I like that. I can get behind it. I'm a DIYer myself, but I really started looking at some of these cabinet systems. And um, as you can see here, this one is from Seplos, and they I guess it's called their their Pusung uh, pack. The, what I liked about this is that it I think it looks good. It's a very clean looking rig. Um, but there's still a lot of DIY that you can do, and I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit. I think part of what the value behind this is, um, it, you know, you can still get a good-looking battery, something that's going to work great. It's got the BMS. It's got, you know, great capacity, but it's got a professional look. You know, I've got young kids that like to have their hands in everything, and I don't want battery cables and everything all over the place. It just kind of makes me nervous. So this has nice, um, sturdy connections. Everything will be covered um you know everything's insulated so i don't have to worry about them you know dropping something metal across battery terminals or anything like that i'll be good to go so what i'm going to do is i'm going to talk a little bit about more why i am um, choosing this system sort of what the plan is my hunch is that this is going to be like a three-part video so the first part is going to be talking a little about the system what my vision for it is um it sort of show you some unboxing as far as this battery goes. Uh, and then probably the next video will be putting it all together. And then maybe video number three, we'll be doing some capacity tests and sort of some, some final thoughts. So how did I get here? Uh, well, I guess I'm, I'm getting kind of sick of paying the man. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to be on the grid, I guess, but you know, if, if I can have some energy independence, that would be great. We do a lot of projects here in the shop and use a fair amount of electricity. So, uh, if, if I can save some of that in a battery system and maybe just take the shop completely off grid, I think that would be really cool. Uh, we run some computers and, and lasers and things like that. So having, uh, something that could instantly switch over and we have basically a fully functional UPS, um, there's some benefit. A Minnesota mosquito there. Got it. Um, <laughs> sorry. There's a, there's some benefit to that though for me as well. So I, I, I considered that, but, um, anyways, I had, I didn't know anything about this company, this Seplos. Um, they had, uh, somebody had posted something on it, like I mentioned earlier in one of the uh, forums. And I just happened to take a look and I'm like, I, I like that. You know, again, it's, it's a, it's a clean looking rig. Um, you know, but it, it still has some DIY components. It doesn't come. This thing isn't ready to go there. You got to do some work here. Uh, and so I can save some money by doing that work myself. I still get to know the system. I get to learn how it works, but I've got a nice clean install when it's all done. So my plan for this is to try this, check it out, make sure I like it. And if I do probably add, you know, maybe five more. These things are modular and they're stackable. I'll show it to you once I get my work area clear. Um, but that's kind of the end goal. So when you get this, uh, the the main power cabinet, the supply cabinet here comes just like this. Um, there was just two of the set screws in the top. I, I did take those out, but that's pretty much all I've done. Um, here's what the battery cables look like. So as you can see, these are, these are pretty stout. Um, when they connect into the the server cabinet here uh, you just obviously pop off these protective caps and then those hook on there 
Um, and then, of course, if you're linking to the next system up, uh, they would have um, the same type of connector. So it just goes, you know, one to the other. And then that's going into the uh, inverter from there. Um, one other thing that this had that I noticed like a lot of others didn't seem to have was it's got CAN bus connections. So uh, I think there's some of the newer Grower Watt and maybe even Victron is starting to run that um, CAN bus or maybe it's becoming more popular. But from my understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, community, um, there's maybe some more communication that can take place through that. You can do some more sophisticated things. Um, so I don't know for what that's worth. It's just nice to have the two different options there. So we get that out of the way. Uh, when you get the cells, so then the cells come in two different boxes. They're they're packaged quite well here. Um, obviously, there would be a top plate as well uh, that mimics these. So I mean, they are they are packed in there quite well. And then here's the cells. So these are lithium iron phosphate cells. Um, you know, they've got the QR codes on top. Everything's intact. I mean, these arrived in uh, great shape, as you can see. Um, they're 3.1, 3.2 volts, and then these are 100 amp hour packs. So all in all, this is going to be um, 5.1 kilowatt hour capacity here. Um, and that's, you know, that that's a great start for me. Uh, so I'm I'm pretty excited about this, but let's... Go ahead and I'll take this top. Oh, let me show you the side here. I haven't shown you what's on the side of these yet. So um, they come with these carry handles. So if you were going to stack a bunch of these or or th I guess this is also portable. If you had to take this pack somewhere, uh, you know, you could certainly lift these up. There's mirroring handles on the other side. Or if you're going to stack these up, like if you're going to get a bunch of them, they come with these latches here, these flip latches. So then that would latch down and then you know, your next pack sits up here and that secures it to it. For the base on these, it has feet, but they also have a nice floor stand that's got adjustable feet. And I think they even have one that has rollers. So, you know, if you, for some reason, we're gonna be moving it around, it's already on rollers and it's already good to go. So let's open this guy up. And we'll take a look at what's going on inside. So. This is what I was kind of talking about, like the DIY part of it. Um, this is the inside of the unit, obviously, and this is what you get when it comes. Um, anybody who's built batteries before, some of this is probably starting to look familiar, but um, let's kind of take a look at what we've got here. So, and here's another thing that, I mean, for me was kind of cool. So they label all of these bus bars and everything. So like, as you can see on there, D1, this is labeled D1. So I'll, I'll go check the manual again and, and I'm sure it's going to tell me, you know, exactly where all of those D1 bars go. I mean, D2. So you can see like they put some time into this. This is, you know, like a copper clad bar. And, and I mean, that's, that's pretty thick. So obviously the bends are made. This is going to connect, you know, something I'll get to, when I get to that point. But, you know, I, I don't have to do any of this. All I got to do is put it all together. And I think from a labor standpoint, I guess it makes sense for um, Cephalos as well. You know, if, if they can just package all this stuff and send it out the door, then they're not having their folks do this labor. So I suppose at the end of the day, you know, they'll save and then we save. So I, I don't know. I think that's cool. Uh, BMS cables here, it looks like. Um, some of that capped on tape for uh, connecting the cells together. Looks like just a bag of screws. So there's some lugs here for probably for the batteries. And then I'm guessing the smaller ones for the cell packs inside. Oh, I just lost a loose one there. Uh, okay. So when we get inside, okay, so these are going to be the cell pack holders. So these are plastic and these will, um, you know, keep our cells together and secure in here. And then it looks like these bars are just going to go over the top. And then as you, if you can see in there, those guys get screwed down um, in there. So we would have our, our two separate sides here and all the cells would go in here. Uh, I don't want to put you guys upside down, but here's what the... The BMS and 
looks like the rest of the controls but again so you know d6 d3 uh here's uh looks like 150 amp fuse right here i don't know everything's laid out nice and clean this looks nice uh over here if you can see that on the pcb looks like the bms connections are there so yeah that shouldn't be bad at all all right cool so um don't need that file that away right um i did bring the meter here let's just go ahead and check check some voltages let's see what we got so just on this first pack 3.259 and now, now i haven't charged these i've i got these i don't know probably what three four days ago and they've just been sitting so i haven't done anything to them 3.258 259 259 258 253 that's a little less 259 259 258 58 55 five. oops hello 59 259 260 so i think that's the highest so far 258 260 so that's pretty impressive um these guys are are pretty well balanced but uh i'm still going to go ahead and just i think put these into parallel just so they've got um you know plenty of time to sit uh i'm not gonna i don't think i'm gonna bore you guys doing all this but um essentially what we're gonna be doing is is just uh linking all these guys up and um, let them sit in parallel so i'll probably just have i don't know if i'll do them all in one or i'll have two different banks but the idea behind that is we want to make sure that all the voltages are pretty much perfectly equal and then that way once we get everything in the cabinet here then all the cells are on the, the same playing ground uh, that way everything's equalized and um, you know the bms doesn't um, think something's wrong or like you know if if we had a significant under voltage like in this middle cell and then as the pack starts draining this one's probably going to be draining not at the same rate and at the, the you're going to start losing capacity and you, you know eventually you might not, not ever get that cell back to its full potential so by leaving these in parallel for an extended period of time uh, we can just sort of negate that issue um, so that's what i'm going to be doing uh, we'll get that taken care of and then um uh, i think like i said on that next video i'll go ahead and i'll we'll start getting stuff together and then uh, go through the process of wiring everything up in here um i'm not sure when exactly i'll get to that but uh, i'm excited so if you guys have any comments any questions maybe put those down in the comment section make sure you subscribe so when we start working on this project uh, together you guys can help me out too and and you know be happy to bounce ideas and, and share some thoughts and suggestions and whatnot so uh, but if you do have questions let me know and i'll see if i can answer them i will put a link to the cephalos contact information i know the the next question is well how much of all of this it's it's just about two thousand bucks uh, us dollars um i forget what shipping was but you know fairly reasonable so most of the time when i had been looking uh, you know, to get a pack like this, you know, is pretty much a minimum of like 25 to 2,900 US dollars. So by doing this work myself, like I said, not only do I get to know the system, uh, but uh, I'm saving some money and I like that. So I'm, I'm okay with that. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Like I said, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and uh, we'll, we'll go on this journey together. Looking forward to it. All right, guys, take care. Thanks.